Yikes. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, we might have to stay in North Carolina um, for a minute. <laughs> Mental illness should not be your ticket to death. The mother of 28-year-old Ivo Otieno, after she watched surveillance video not yet released to the public, images that prosecutors say show law enforcement officers fatally smothering Otieno. I don't understand how all systems failed him. Otieno died on March 6th at a Virginia mental health facility. Henrico County's top prosecutor Starting says Otieno you. was transferred to the facility from a Henrico County jail. The prosecutor adds video clearly shows all seven deputies held Otieno on the ground for 12 minutes. He's in handcuffs and leg irons at that point. He poses no danger to the individuals around him. At a court appearance for one of the deputies, his lawyer cited a potential defense. The ongoing issues that he had been that they had been having with this uh, individual with regards to his disorderly conduct, with regards to his aggression, with regards to his resistance. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump compared Otieno's video to that of the death of George Floyd. Otieno's mother says her son was taken to jail without the medicine he needed for mental illness. Now who is that keep coughing, man? Mute yourself, man. God damn it. He looks to be about 300 pounds and answers. offensive lineman type strength. Why was my son murdered? Yeah, if he's Nigerian, he's strong as an ox, man. Them, them Nigerians be strong as shit, man. I ain't got that that Nigerian strength much. I got that. I got a, 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 a um, goddamn African American mother, man. I missed out on that Nigerian strength, but my 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 cousins and them, they strong as oxes naturally man Done. i'm mike valerio reporting so this guy well, uh <laughs> all right let, 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 let's see let's see what happened with this guy man. two of the seven henrico deputies charged with second degree murder and the death of an inmate who died while in custody are now out on bond Attorneys reveal what they say a videotape shows in the moments leading up to the death of an inmate as the deputies charged in his death appear in court. Well, I think it's very important that we see that footage uh, as soon as possible. It's certainly far too soon to point uh, fingers at any individual. And we take a look at what happens when somebody experiencing a mental health crisis is taken by police under an emergency custody order to the hospital. Why might they be taken to the jail from there? Senator Creed Deeds asking for better facilities and better training. It's so important. To oh, God, I hate this shit with these son men, man. They cause so many fucking problems, man. Jesus Christ. We gotta watch this whole fucking tape, man. So he comes in to the facility, full security tape. He apparently is a fucking problem. Like he's a fucking problem. They have problems with this guy. He's not like something. It's not like. It's not like. Look at all. Think about it. A reasonable person, a reasonable person, would say. Well, God damn, why they got all these people here awaiting this guy's entering the facility? That's 20 people awaiting one person. A reasonable person would say, well, God damn, they must feel like they need that to deal with him. People aren't being reasonable nowadays, man. They got the orderlies on, on deck. They got all the fat sun sisters. Every, call it all fat sun sisters. We gonna need y'all y'all weight, man, to hold this brother down. Look at those sides of those brothers. So we're supposed to believe that these people are trying to kill him. <laughs> Oh, 
This is this is a murder. They like, oh yeah, we gotta kill Ervo Atieno today, man. Um, even though we know we know this, we we know this place like the back of our hands, There's cameras everywhere. Um, is every, everybody here is gonna witness us kill y'all down for it? Everybody down for killing OTNO today? Yeah, man, let's kill him, man. All right, y'all, let's go kill him. Okay, they sat him down first, they sat him down. And these aren't no little guys. These guys right here, these are not little guys, man. This guy right here, these these are these are not little guys, man. These are some brolic, these are some brolic sun men right here, man. They called in their varsity to deal with him, and it was still too much. <laughs> yeah. Like a reasonable person would say, okay, this guy's obviously a problem. Because this is not what you have to do. With every fucking person in there. It's also probably not the first time they've had to deal with this person. No, it's, uh, this is, they know this guy. And they're just waiting. They all got their mask on, their gloves on. You got the staff right here. You got the deputies right here. Ben Crump is a fucking devil, man. All these people got to lose their fucking jobs and go to prison. Now, Ben Crump is a fucking piece of shit. He's a demon. All these people's lives are ruined. You're looking at a bunch of people who literally right now probably are tossing and turning thinking about they're going to go to prison for decades and shit there are 14 people in that room try to control that one sun man hard working people these people are in the streets these people are thugs these people are contemplating having to go to prison for decades as we speak because of this fucking piece of shit and ben crump Somebody whack Kelly Knowles, man. You can whack Kelly Knowles if you want to, man. You have my permission to whack Kelly Knowles. These people right here, you can't tell me these people are bad people working in this place with these. Here's the thing. This isn't the first thing they've ever done in life. They deal with hundreds of patients a week. These people are salt of the earth dealing with these fucking deranged lunatics in this place. The patience it takes to deal with these people. Look at this shit. I think twenty dollars an hour for fourteen people. It was supposed to okay, so they're just waiting for the word to kill him, right? They're waiting for somebody to either on kill him on on three. Ready? 
One, two, three. Let's kill Otieno, man. Y'all, y'all ready? Y'all gonna kill him, y'all. And that's just what it's gonna be, man. We're gonna kill him and then, you know, we're gonna go back to doing our job, y'all. That's what we trying to do. We're trying to kill this guy, man. And I bet you, I bet you that fucking African she boon mom of his called the fucking cops. I bet you she's the one who called the cops. Come get this nigga. Come get this nigga. He is acting crazy again. I cannot control him. Please come get him. Hurry up. I am fearing for my life. When they gonna kill him, man? When they gonna assassinate him? Because this assassination, he famous now. Otieno, man, he famous, man. It's the only way. So we're supposed to believe that there's a better way to do this, but only people on Twitter and um, Instagram know it. He's just chilling and collecting his uh, thoughts right there, getting ready to pounce. Think about how many times they did this. Do this look like this is the first time these people have done this? They know what the fuck they're doing. This is a this is something you do. Okay, we got an unruly one. You gotta hold him down, get him cuffed, get him in leg irons, and then haul his ass off to his fucking cell. And it's gonna take a lot of us. Do you think that if they thought that two guys could do this shit, that it would be all these people? This is a facility with a bunch of nuts in it. Do you think they would pull all these people off their assignments and off their duties? In a they're fucking trying to let him wear himself out is what they're trying to do. Yeah, in a building full of fucking nutcases if they didn't have to. Salute to Deluxe 247, a.k.a. Cal Ripken, a.k.a. The Real MVP, coming through once again, man. I'm not seeing the smothering they're talking about. It's coming, man. It's coming. You like you said, the sun man. Sun man, they try. They got to get him in leg irons, and they got to get him to a cell. And he he obviously ain't trying to let him do that. But according to fucking liberals on fucking. Fucking line, this was an assassination. They went to kill him. This was just an attempt to kill this one guy this one time. All these people said, Yeah, let's just throw our lives away, man, and kill Ervio Otieno, man, because you know. If it was an assassination, it'd be done already. All right, it's starting to rev up. This is that dirty work that people don't understand, need to. How they this is how the sausage is made, man. So we're we're supposed to believe that they're just doing this for fun. <laughs> they're doing this for shits for, for kicks. They're sadistic. These people are sadistic and they're all piled on him because you know we're gonna have a sadism party, man, and kill us inmate together, man. It's a bonding ritual, man. On camera. 
there's seven of them on them specifically so they won't be on any vital parts like yeah. the breathing apparatus the chest they're on each limb trying to yep. hold them down yep anyway though because i don't want to show too much they might say that this is violence or some shit, but he struggled and 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 this is what all these people got to go to prison for i can't wait to hear the autopsy report on that because he may have been hyped up on some uh concoction that gave him that and it gave him a fast heartbeat that Mental after a certain amount of time his heart just gave out yeah this shit is fucking crazy man um let's see what else is going on in north carolina man north carolina i'm gonna stand up take your shirt off um uh let's see okay here we go took 32 years but raleigh police now say they know the man who raped a 73 year old woman inside her home like so god dog let's start that over again took 32 years but raleigh police now say they know the man who raped a 73 year old woman inside her home like so many other survivors that woman's rape kit went untested for decades a backlog the wake county da is calling unacceptable wrl's joe fisher the only reporter in the courtroom today he joins us live outside now with the details what happened joe Dan, today a judge doubled the bond to $1 million for DeAndre Smith. Prosecutors in this case say they have very solid DNA evidence, but Smith calls the charges against him ridiculous. DeAndre Smith. Facing two life sentences for the rape of a 73-year-old woman, DeAndre Smith denies his involvement. 